Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, I'm back with another video. This is uh, Mr. Black Hammer 2021 NBA. I'm playing NBA 2K21 my career. We're in the conference finals in g game 3 of the playoff. Taking on the Celtics. Hopefully we can go off 3-0 here. Right now we dominate now here. Also, uh, this video was sponsored by PlayStation. It was sponsored by 2K, Chris Move, and all my friends on YouTube. Make sure you guys hit that like button, leave a comment, please subscribe to my channel. Enjoy my video. Alright. So far, we're doing good in the playoffs here. And one. We balling out here. I'm, I'm, um, I am scoring a lot here. I haven't gotten, like, no rebounds. And this is the third quarter. Uh, this video is going to be about uh, 30 minutes. Yep, a 30 minute long video. Hopefully, um, I'm sure I'm going to get subbed out in this game. Hopefully, you guys can hear me. If you guys can't hear me, please let me know. If not, I, I probably need some new uh, headphones. Alright. So, so um, as I'm talking about this uh, video. Now, um, I wasn't going to wait until... And, now, um, I wasn't going to wait until... Oh, whoops. Now, now I wasn't gonna wait until tomorrow because cause I know that I know that SmackDown comes on. I know that you guys, if you guys watch wrestling, well, yep, a uh, WWE SmackDown. If you guys watch, yep, a uh, WWE SmackDown comes on tonight. I, will, I, I will watch SmackDown and I will talk about it. I probably should talk about the uh, releases that happened yesterday. If you guys know that um last night uh WWE released eight superstars, eight talents, and, and I, I will go over it. And and I think I will do my uh, preview and predictions about Survivor Series this year. Cause, Cause you know Survivor Series is is on Sunday and they do the brand versus brand warfare, the champion versus champions, and they got the five on five matches. So, um, I think I will talk about the releases here tonight, so I can keep y'all interested in my video. So, uh, WWE released eight people. Um, they released, uh, well, uh, the biggest name is John Morrison. They released Jason Riker, Tegan Knott, Hit Woe. They released, who else they released? I, th I think I forgot who else they released. I think it was someone else. I forgot that person's name. But, um, I think the biggest name is John Morrison. Jackson Wiker, he got released, but do you care? Also, they released uh, Shane Thorne, aka Slapjack, from the Rest Abusin. Now, um, he wrestled with Dark Masses, and, and and he was nothing. He went nowhere. Cause after they broke up, Rest Abusin, that god awful stable. As soon as they broke him off, he was off TV. He wrestled with Dark Masses. He he had to play that Shane Thorne, and Shane Thorne is a great wrestler. He got he, he got no character, but he he. Uh, great in the ring. He was wrestling dark masses. Then he was released. They couldn't find anything for, for him to do. Uh, Jason Wiker got released. He didn't, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if um, anyone cares about Jason Wiker. Jason Wiker, no character, no commitment. He was awful in the ring. No one cared about him. He came out to nobody asked him. He was nothing but a jobber. I'm surprised it took them this long to let go of Jason Wiker because Jason Wiker went nowhere and nobody cared about Jason Wiker. He he was nothing. I don't I don't know why he would I don't know why he thought, I don't know why he, he had a job. Jason Wiker, like um they were putting him and they were trying to shelf him down our throat for two months and then after that he was pretty much nothing. Like um after the math he had with Elias four months ago he was pretty much nothing. He was worthless. But yeah, Jason Wiker was another my job and no one cared about Jason Wiker. And then uh, WWE released uh, Tegan Knott. Yep, uh, Tegan Knott got released. And Tegan Knott put pretty much nothing after that. Like, wait, what? Like, uh, Tegan Knott put pretty much nothing after they broke her away from Chelsea Blackheart. I don't know why they were a tag team. Yeah, I don't know why that they were a tag team. But Tegan Knott was released. It's funny how, like, Tegan Knott's birthday was, like, last week. 
I think I, I think it was last week. It, it was a few days ago, and, and she got released. And Tegan Knox went nowhere. I thought she I thought she was decent in the ring, but she went nowhere. And they weren't using her. She was off. She, she was off TV. Last time we saw her, she teamed up with Shotzi Blackcock, and that was it. And we haven't seen her since. And she got released. And then um, Hit Row, uh, Top Dollar, and the I, I forgot the other two guys' name, but they were released. Hit Well got released. I think we all knew Hit Well wasn't gonna last that long. Or so I say, Shit Whoa, Shit Whoa. Yeah, cause that's what they were. But anyway, um, Hit Well went nowhere. That they wasn't gonna last that long. I think they lasted like two weeks. I don't know why they called up Hit Well to only fire them two weeks later. Because Hit Well went nowhere. And now I feel bad for Hit Well. I actually enjoyed their work on uh, NFT. Only reason why that they got released because they were part of Triple H's company. Um, they were Triple H guys, and Triple H is not in charge of NFT. Vince McMahon and Bruce Brister are in charge of NFT, and and um, they destroyed everything that that Triple H did. Hitwell wasn't gonna last that long on the main roster anyway. As soon as D Fam got fired, we all knew that that the other three were net, and they went nowhere. There was no value for them to be on the main roster. Don't know why you called them up. It um. Uh, made no sense why you broke up here well don't know why but now they're released and now they gotta wait 90 days all right and after that we had John Morrison I didn't do it someone else I, I forgot not sure if Matt John Morrison John Morrison is the biggest name out of them all John Morrison got released I'm not surprised that they released John Morrison because he was pretty much Worthless. As soon as the Miz left to go on dancing with the stars, John Morrison was worthless. He was used as a jobber. He was he was doing nothing on that one. John Morrison is a great wrestler. John Morrison is a solid mid card. I think we all love John Morrison, but he was pretty much nothing after the Miz. After Miz went to dancing with the stars. So yeah. Um, I feel bad for John Morrison. I mean, John Morrison, as soon as his wife got released, I think I kind of knew John Morrison was going to get released because uh, WWE released all the couples out there. I think the only couple that they didn't believe was Seth Rollins and Becky Lynch. So, yeah. I mean, John Morrison um, deserved better. Maybe he might go to AEW or he might go to uh, Impact Wrestling. He might be a great value to that because I think he was put up better in Impact Wrestling. That's when he was a main event guy. That's when he was getting over. But ever since being back with WWE, he was part of some of the worst segments with The Miz. And I don't know why WWE thought it was funny. It was bad enough that we had like Moist TV and then Johnny Drip Drip and then them bringing water guns. It was just awful. Atrocious television. And then that feud with Bad Bunny and Damien Priest and then and then the zombie lumberjack mat. Um, that was just awful. Man, I mean, like, man, it's just, I mean, I mean, I, I, I think the best part about John Morrison was his massing with Matt Riddle. That was it. John Morrison deserved better. Hope, I'm sure he'll be alright. I think I'll find work. Maybe him and his wife might go back to uh, TNA. But yeah, John Morrison was also wasted. As soon as the Miz turned on him after SummerSlam, John Morrison was pretty much worthless. He was... Losing every week, he was jobbing out. He was uh, losing every week, he was jobbing out. And he was cutting these, like, promos. He was meditating bad days. John Morrison had no value to, to Monday Night Raw. Um, they saw no effort in John Morrison. And it is so sad to see him be let go from the company. All right. Well, um, after that we had. Um, I think that's all of them. I didn't do more, but I forgot who the other ones were. I'm not sure if it even matters. But anyway. Um. Um, I think I should go over these the entire Survivor Series card. I probably should have waited. 
But I think I'm going to do it now, because why not? Because tomorrow I got to do a lot of work tomorrow, so... I might be able to get, I might be able to, um, get it done and over with. Alright, uh, Survivor Series predictions. I think we all know that Survivor Series had been a garbage pay-per-view for years. First of all, the build to Survivor Series happened awful. And this is one of the worst build to a, a pay-per-view I think I've ever seen. Um, there's nothing important. All the matches don't mean anything. Uh, there's nothing on the line. There's no state. There's no build or story to tell. It, it's champion versus champion. I think the only big thing is Big E versus Roman Reigns, Charlotte, and Becky. So we got... I, I think I'll go over the first match. We got the Usos and RK Bro. Uh, the Usos, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, and RK Bro, Matt Riddle, and Randy Orton, the War Tag Team Champion. Um, they face off on Survivor Series. Should be a good match. But I don't know why I should care. I don't know why anyone would be interested. There's no build. There's no story. What are they fighting over? Oh, they haven't even come face to face. Since we, up until we saw the the Go Home show on Monday Night Raw. And then you got Shinsuke Nakamura and Damian Priest. I'm sure. Now, I'm sure a lot of people have forgotten that Damian Priest was even the, the um, United States Champion. Because Damian Priest had been off TV for two weeks. Nakamura hadn't defended the title in three months since he won it from Apollo in August. Nakamura hadn't done anything with the with the um, IC title. He's done nothing with it. Yeah. And then we got, um, I don't know who's going to win that. Either way, who cares? I mean, I, I think Damian Priest deserves it. I don't think they'll do anything with Nakamura. He might lose it to uh, Sheamus. I, I don't know. And then we, and then after that, we got Charlotte Flair versus Becky Lynch, champion versus champion. Charlotte is the SmackDown Women's champion. Becky Lynch is the Women's champion. Either way, who cares about this match? There's no build. There's no storyline. Uh, uh, we've seen Charlotte and Becky a hundred times already. I think we're over it. I don't know who's gonna win. Now there might be a screwy finish. Now based on the now, based on what happened a few weeks ago, based on the bad days fight that they had after SmackDown went out the year after that God awful seven with the title swap, I don't know what's gonna happen here, but I doubt people are gonna care. It might it, it, it might be awful. I don't know what can happen. I don't think anyone cares about Charlotte. No one cares about Becky and this forced heel turn that she's doing. But um, yeah. But yeah, and then we got uh, Roman Reigns versus. Oh, at the I, I I think I'll save that for last. Well, at the at the no, and and then we got a uh, Roman Reigns versus Big E. W Roman Reigns, the Universal Champion, versus Big E, who the WWE Champion. It should be a good match. This is the first time that we're getting this match in WWE. Don't know who's gonna win. I think Roman Reigns should win. Now there could be a screwy finish. It could end by a DQ or a countout. Or someone's going to come out. Maybe Brock Lesnar. Maybe The Rock. The Usos. Or New Day could get involved. I don't know. I don't know what we're getting here. But something's going to happen. But uh, there's going to be no clean win. Because Big E can't lose. Because he just won the title. Um, this is why they gave Big E the WWE title. Be to tease him out. With Roman Reigns at Survivor Series. And I think Big E can be fed to Roman. And going to hurt his title win. Because he just won it. And he's now starting. He's now starting a feud with Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins. And Roman Reigns, he gonna he gonna continue his feud with Brock Lesnar. Now, and I'm sure he's gonna fight Jeff Hardy or Drew McIntyre. He hasn't looked strong, and and nobody had pinned Roman Reigns in two years, so he can't lose. Hopefully, he doesn't. If he does lose to Big E, he's not gonna lose clean. But even if he get pinned, it will be a crime against wrestling creative. There's no way that Roman Reigns. Is losing. He's not gonna be. He's not gonna be pinned. They could end in a screwy finish. I mean, I don't know what's gonna happen. But I actually want one man to retain, so we can get this match over with, and Big E can focus on Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins. And put the build to the math had been about you know Big E wanted to get revenge for what Roman did to the New Day, because um they um they took out Kofi. They took out Xavier and they and, and Roman Reigns stole Xavier with his crown. 
and now Big E's gonna fight until I get back his crown. Until I get back his Avery's crown. I mean, that's all I can think about. Alright, so I guess I will go into the 5 on 5s. Uh, first of all, um, WWE announced the 5 on 5. F n now, they, now, now the other two matches, we have the 5 on 5 matches for the men and women. Um, now, um, WWE announced it on social media. They announced it on Twitter. For f for the men's side, we have Bobby Lashley, we have Austin Theories, Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, and Kevin Owens versus Drew McIntyre, Jeff Hardy, Happy Corbin, Xavier Woods, and a mystery partner. Don't know who that's gonna be. But man, oh man, um, they didn't put no effort in the five on five. Um, they were added on social media. How lazy is WWE? Um, they didn't um they didn't do qualifying matches. Last year they did qualifying matches, and I thought they had some good matches. Superstar were getting over. They put some, um, they told some story and some of those matches, but uh, this year they didn't. Um, they just um they were added randomly, and and, and I know a lot of superstars said on, on social media, uh, like oh, oh like uh, uh, what do we get in these matches? Nothing. I don't know who's gonna be the sole survivor. I think it might be Bobby Lashley or Drew McIntyre. Maybe Drew McIntyre. It, it might come down to McIntyre and Lashley. I don't know why Bobby Lashley was, was wasn't on his Survivor Series because before he was on, it was, it was uh, Rey Mysterio and Dominic. Now uh, Rey Mysterio and Dominic were on his Survivor Series team, but Adam Pearce took them out and replaced them with Bobby Lashley and Austin Theories. Now m m my problem with this, I don't like how we had four former SmackDown guys on his Survivor Series. And now I'm wondering why. Now, why wasn't Bobby Lashley already on the Survivor Series since he'd been a wild guy the entire year? He was the WWE Champion a few months ago. Why wasn't he on the Survivor Series? Shouldn't he be team captain? Not Seth Rollins? So, yeah. I don't know why they... I don't know why they put Ray and Dominic only to just take him out two, two weeks later and put in Bobby Lashley and Austin Theories. So yeah, either way, I, I, like no one cares about these Survivor Series, it means nothing. Alright, so, so after that we have the 5 on 5 for the woman. The 5 on 5 for the woman. We have uh, Liv Morgan, uh, Bian uh, Bianca Belair, Rhea Ripley, we have Carmella and Selena Vega versus Sasha Banks, Shotzi Blackheart, um, Shayna Baszler and Natalia, and they have a mystery partner because um, they did put Aaliyah, but they took out Aaliyah in the math. So I think it may be someone else, maybe Naomi or Tony Storm might be the mystery partner to take Aaliyah's place. I, d I don't know why they put Aaliyah in the math to begin with because he hadn't watched the math since last week. I don't know why she was in it. Um, it makes no sense. Um, I think it was awful. But it might be Tony Storm or Naomi. I'm not sure. Either way, who gives a crap about the Survivor Series? It means nothing. Uh, maybe SmackDown might go over. A and based on the confrontation that we got last week with Tony Storm calling out Charlotte. Who knows? It could be Tony Storm. Um, she could be in it. And she could be the sole survivor. And she'll be the one to challenge Charlotte. Because it makes sense. It's not going to be Shotzi because he's a heel. So, yeah. Now, um, I actually want it to be t Tony Storm. I don't think it can be Sasha Banks. I don't know if they can go with this. There might be a lot of drama in these matches. I don't think anyone cares about these Survivor Series. Um, they don't. Survivor Series have been a garbage pay-per-view. It's been worthless, meaningless. No one cares about these matches. No one cares about the brand sprint. You might as well just end the brand sprint. Nobody cares about the brand sprint. End it already. And end all these masses. There is no need to have these masses anymore. Nobody cares about the brand sprint. It means nothing. There, there is nothing on the line in any of these masses. Like, uh, you expect us to care about these masses? I don't. These masses don't mean jack anymore. Oh, whoops. 
So yeah. I um I can't wait. So um yeah. Um I cannot wait. All right. All right, so um, yeah, um, that's my Survivor Series predictions. Survivor Series, um, this is one of the worst build to a Survivor Series I've ever seen. There's no effort to build. I thought last year, I think we all thought last year was bad. Now last year they tried to put some build and some effort into it, cause they had qualifying masses and they tried to build to um to their masses, but it's, it wasn't enough for anyone to care. So yeah. So yeah. So yeah. Um, I can't wait for this. It should be. I mean, Survivor Series might be awful. It might be a disaster. I think the main event might be good. Charlotte and Becky maybe Nakamura and Pre could be a good match. Either way, there's nothing on the line. I think this is them to get Survivor Series out of the way. Because after Survivor Series, we had Crown Jewels. I don't think that we need this pay-per-view anyway. I don't think that we need 12 pay-per-views a year. We might as well get rid of some of the pay-per-views. Because like, there have been a few pay-per-views that have been worthless. I get rid of all the gimmick pay-per-views. After Survivor Series, um, there's no pay-per-view in December. Because they got rid of the TLC. Unless they add something randomly. I don't know what pay-per-view not gonna be either way I don't care so but yeah so but yeah anyway should be alright for now well I think that's all I can say about this unless there's more I will do SmackDown with you. I probably should have waited, but nah. I don't think I will. I just wanted to say it now and to be done and over with. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will be back with more. I, well, the game's almost over. Well, uh, the game is, is already over, by the way. Guess I should just end the video. Uh, the game's already over. I, I had to sit out. It was already a blowout, up by like 40 something points. This is game three, by the way. Okay. Oh, I was so close. Almost got shooting. So close, man. New endorsement urn. Well, I might want to show you guys the uh, playoff tree to show you guys what's going on in the uh, playoffs. Got another meeting. Guess I'll take that, why not? Okay. Ah, uh, just wanna make sure. I don't know why I said I got zero triple double. Um, um, that should be one, by the way. Might be a, a glitch. Here the uh, playoff tree. Denver and the Lakers are up one one. 
we're up to y'all. It's hard to believe that the Celtics sweep the Nets, and we're about to sweep them. Superstars injured. 65. Anthony David and LeBron. Alright, okay. Uh, that's the uh, uh, playmaking, and I, I'm close to getting the corner specialist, clutch shooter, green machine. These are my endorsement. And these do take up a lot, by the way. I think they don't have enough. Guess I can. I think I am almost done. I don't think I have any VC in my uh, locker. Got like three minutes left. If you guys haven't seen the 2K22 my career, I did make five videos. Also, there are no, also uh, there are some more games I will be playing and putting on my channel soon. Make sure you guys check that out. All right, okay. Now I doubt that I got like um any more here. I probably have to wait until I get some more. Well, I did um I didn't use a lot of VC. Yeah, I didn't think so. G guess I will stop. We got like one more game left. Check out the boss score, Tatum. I thought he, I thought he had five points. He had thirty-four. I thought it was five, but it was thirty-four. And look at our team: sixty-three, eighteen. Everyone's going good. I thought Giannis shot three. It between me and Tatum, Kimber Walker didn't really go that much. Jalen Brown, Marcus Smart. Guess I'll stop the video.